Peter here. Welcome to the next episode of Mistakes and Correction series for the S course inside the circuit. So let's get started and stay tuned till the end of this video. Do not turn into the S course when you can see there is a stop line. Turn into the S course without the stop line. Before turning left, do not position the car more to the left side of the lane. As the rear left tire might hit the left curb while turning left. Keeping the car more to the right might get your rear right tire hitting the right curb while turning toward the right bend. Keep the car slightly to the left while making a right bend. Speed of the car can also be the cause for mounting the curb. Maintain slow speed, especially when you feel your tire is going to hit the curb. The same goes to the left bend. Try keeping your car slightly to the right to avoid your rear left tire hitting the left curb later. There isn't any time limit to complete the course. Even though so, you cannot take too long to finish the S course. Stop completely before the stop line and look for traffic before turning. Fail to stop completely at stop line constitutes an immediate failure. Each time your tire touch or hit the curb will be 10 demerit points. Mounting the curb will be an immediate failure. In order to negotiate the S course, students and instructors need to be flexible and find the most suitable turning point or methods. Sometimes students may not be able to follow or understand totally what is the instructor's instructions or pointers. This is due to the height and sitting posture of the students. Students can request the instructor to steer the steering wheel at the instructor seat while doing the S course. While the instructor is steering within the S course, student will have to identify which is the turning point that can be used and easy to see. Students may use the front bonnet and see where is the front curb is positioned in front of the car bonnet. Subscribe to us and share this channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.